one, make the perfect homeschool read aloud plan. Taking into consideration what history time period you're going to be reading and incorporating some read alouds with that, thinking about the fact that you have older kids who are ready for more in-depth discussions or higher level thinking books, and considering the fact that I also have little kids who need to kind of revisit some of the classics and the favorites and the lighter literature. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you guys my homeschool plan for the 2023-2024 school year. So let's get started. Before I get started, I wanna say this video is done in collaboration with my friend Wendy over at Plan Prep Pray. We are both sharing our read aloud picks for this upcoming school year. Be sure to check out her video when this video is over. So the first place that I like to start when making a read aloud plan is to consider our historical period that we're going to be studying. I love to tie in different history read alouds. Last year, I did a lot of history read alouds and didn't get to incorporate as many of like the lighthearted fun ones. And so this year I'm looking to make that perfect blend. So first I started out with our Biblio Plan Family Guide. This has got different books for every single age group for the six units that are involved in a one year cycle. And I went through that and picked out the books I wanted to do as read alouds. They do have a page here in the book that outlines the six units and has suggestions for different read alouds you might do. Some of these I picked off that list and some I just flipped through their other reading list and selected a few that I really wanted to tackle with my kids. So for unit one, we're gonna do 40 acres and maybe a mule. This is about two brothers in the reconstruction era after the Civil War. They now have their own property and they're farming it and they're enjoying their freedom but the Night Raiders are coming in and trying to take that away from them. The second book we're using for unit two is The 21 Balloons. So this was a book that was recommended in Biblio Plan, and it is one that I've had personally recommended by several friends. We started to read it and never ended up finishing it. We only got like a chapter in, but I had a lot of things going on at once, so I really wanna put this at the top of the list this year. It's about a man who sets off on a hot air balloon adventure across the Pacific Ocean, but doesn't end up there. He ends up, he ends up in some place quite unexpected, but you'll have to read more to find out. Also for unit two, we are going to be listening on audiobook to The Wind and the Willows. I tried this year in order to keep everything really realistic and doable to make sure that we have a read aloud going at all times, but also an audiobook that we can use to kind of get through more material more quickly as we're driving from appointments. For unit three, we are only going to be doing a read aloud and that is going to be The Railway Children. For unit four, we are going to be doing a letter to Mrs. Roosevelt. This is about a sweet family in the Great Depression era and about a little girl who is trying to save her family farm by reaching out and writing to Eleanor Roosevelt. For unit five, I'm planning on doing something a little bit different and I'm gonna be kind of testing the waters with the system to see if this is something we can continue to do or if I need to modify it. I will actually be doing The War That Saved My Life with my middle schoolers, with my three middle schoolers. And with my younger three, I'm going to be reading A Bear Called Paddington. So for the first time, I will be splitting up our read aloud. I wanted to do more of that this year um, and have several books that I read with older kids and several books I just read with the little ones. But I realized that this is going to be a big adjustment for our family, both scheduling wise, as well as just like getting used to not being all together. So I thought we'll just test it out with this. And we're gonna be testing out with a few Bible resources that we're using, but that's another video for another time. For unit six, we're going to be reading In the Year of the Boar and Jackie Robinson. And then as an audiobook, we are going to be doing My Side of the Mountain. For our fun read alouds, we have several different selections, but many of them I don't have yet. One is the brand new Wild Robot book. We love the Wild Robot books. We've read one and two. Book three will be releasing in September and I have pre-ordered our copy. I can't wait to get it and dive into it with the kids. I know the second it comes in, we're gonna be starting because they are so pumped about this book. During the Christmas season, we are going to be reading The Vanderbeekers on 141st Street. This is one that has been, I've been told is a great one to read around Christmas time. And we have one of the posters from Ruby Reads, which is a company that makes these really fun read aloud posters that your kids can color and draw and rate the book and all the things. We recently did it for uh, Island of the Blue Dolphins and it was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to doing that around Christmas time. I'm going to be doing this book with all of the kids, but it was with my younger ones in mind, I wanted to go through the Mercy Watson series. So I have read this with my older kids, but it's been a long time and I knew my little kids would love it. So we're going to just all gather around together and do something a little easier for a change. Mercy is a fun loving pig that gets into a little bit of trouble from time to time. These books, while simple in the actual text, actually have some great vocabulary in them and just fun, silly stories that will be sure to be fun. Later in the year, probably like February, March-ish, we plan to do A Place to Hang the Moon 
moon. This one, from what I've been told, is not necessarily like a lighthearted fun one, but it wasn't one that was like suggested in our history read alouds. So I wanted to do that one. We also have a Ruby's Reads poster for that as well, but we probably will end up doing that on audio, just trying to make things more realistic. If we have more time than I think we do, then we will switch to reading it out loud, but probably an audiobook. And the last book that is on my list is The Hour of the Bees. This one looked really interesting. I have not personally read it or heard a whole lot about it, but I discovered it as I was doing some research. It's about a little girl in New Mexico who is spending the summer moving her grandfather into a home for patients with dementia. And it talks about her struggle with that and how at first she's kind of afraid of him. And then over time, she grows to fall in love with him and really appreciate all of the quirky things about him. I just think this one will be a really good one with a lot of good talking points for my kids. Altogether, this comes out to eight physical books that we hope to read through this year and six audiobooks. I think this is very doable. We can always adjust some of those physical books to be audiobooks if the year gets a little crazy. And I never cry if it's not something we got to. We just add it to the following year or continue our read alouds into the summer. But these are the choices I have picked. Be sure to check out this video here if you want to know more about how we do read alouds, get your frequently asked questions answered, and of course, check out Wendy's video here on her read aloud picks for next year. Talk to you guys next time. Bye!